Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the TMC recommended wheel bearing adjustment procedure. We're going to torque this on. We're we want to go to 200 foot-pounds on the first. We'll set it secondly to 50 foot-pounds. So we'll rind it up to 200 foot-pounds. You should always uh, unwind these torque wrenches when you're done to take the tension off them or they lose their accuracy according to the manufacturer. If you're not sure the accuracy of your torque wrench, uh, have your tool guy or take it to a tool company and have them recalibrate it. So we're right at 200 there, zeros right on the the mark and now we can lock this ring here and then uh, it won't rotate and now we're going to tighten that wheel bearing up while we're rotating it to 200 foot pounds and that seats the bearings so we're going to tighten it down and rotate a little bit here that helps to seat the bearings. Rotate it a bit. Once we get it in a bit further here, it'll be easier to rotate. This seats the bearings and everything. We go 200 foot pounds at first to make sure that everything's pressed in. Use this nut to press all the bearings right back. And then they'll give us a good seating on there. There we are. Now we'll back it off one full turn according to the Technology and Maintenance Council Repair Procedure 618. So we'll back it off one full turn. And we can rotate it a little just to let it find its home. And now what we're going to do, undo the lock and we're going to bring it back down to 50 foot pounds. And we're going to bring it up to 50 foot pounds, the 50 on here and the zero right on the center line here. And then we can lock it here and with it locked then we're ready to now go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it up to 50 foot pounds and we're going to back it off the number of threads per inch on that spindle. We looked it up in the chart and it works out to a quarter turn back. So we're going to tighten this thing up while we rotate it to 50 foot pounds. And then we're going to back it off a quarter of a turn. So what you can do for that is uh, you can get your torque wrench say you know level here now you know exactly where a quarter turn is up here and that's it for this one and then what we'll do is we'll put the dial indicator on and we'll check the end play always check your bearing end play after you do it because otherwise you can't verify it's set up correctly so if it's an aluminum hub like this one I like to put the dial indicator right on the metallic spindle and then we can come right up to a we can come right on to a stud here or the hub itself and then we can we can check the end plate. So we're right on there and now what we can do is we can check our our end plate without rotating the wheel. What you don't want to do is you don't want to get the movement of rotating it. What you want to do is you want to get it pulled all the way one way. There's 50. And then we'll come back the other way without moving it. But we got about two thousandths of an inch in play. You're okay between one and five. So 